Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, I saw on Twitter that apparently Tom Holland and Zendaya are thinking about settling down together. Or at least that was his words. They're in settling down mode. They're actually thinking about a permanent future together. I thought that that was great news because they've been together. Well, I don't want to say like together, together, but they've been, I, I want to say at least in this flirtation ship for quite some time now. Anybody who has seen them outside of the movies that they play, you know, in interviews, clearly they had, you know, I feel like at least that they had something for each other. They felt something for each other. And if you think that's a stretch, go back and watch, like I said, some of the interviews that they had together. There was an interview where um, Zendaya had sat down with somebody and she had mentioned that her love language was like words of affirmation, you know, being told that she's beautiful, which there's nothing wrong with. And Tom Holland knew this clearly. And anytime somebody had inquired what he thought about Zendaya, his opinions about her, of course, he did say stuff that had substance, stuff like, oh, yeah, she's kind, she's nice. But he always slipped in there and she's so, so beautiful. Everybody was saying, Tom, we see what you're doing. We see what you're doing, Tom. And I do think that is how you start or engage in a relationship with somebody, a romantic relationship. Well, not just romantic, but other relationships. Like if you care about somebody, you claim you love them, then learn their love language and show that love and care in their love language not in yours and that's exactly what he did y'all like I don't think y'all understand like the moves that he made was checkmate but anyways like I said I think it's great because if they both really do like each other and love each other genuinely then they should settle down and get married what's the point of you know playing games and wasting each other's time you know either you you want to be with somebody or you don't and if you do then Put the commitment on it. And if you don't, then go your separate ways. Other ways, it's just a waste of time and just folly. Although a lot of people on Twitter left some really just disgusting comments about them getting together. Like you had the people who were saying stuff like, what? Oh, she's taller than him. That's weird. Why can't a guy be with a woman that's taller than him? I know we're so used to seeing the man taller, but that's kind of... That's kind of messed up to say, you know, we shouldn't be so used to a template of a relationship that we can't fathom anything different or feel the need to attack and disparage and mock something different. Not only that, but there were a lot of black men leaving comments on the, that initial picture that they posted with them saying that they were going to settle down. They were basically saying that she was wrong for settling down with Tom Holland because he's white. Now, Everybody understands something. This woman, this young woman can date Mary who she wants to, just like you, just like everybody else, just like me. OK, and she's biracial. She doesn't have some allegiance or, you know, belong to any one or the other race. She can marry and be with whoever she wants to be with. Although the people in those comments were basically saying, well, black men were the ones who supported her and helped her get to where she was. So how dare she marry somebody white like Tom Holland? And it's going to all be fun and games until he uses the N word or talks about her in front of his white friends and family. And I just thought that that was so disgusting. Like this woman does not owe this young woman doesn't owe anybody anything. OK, and black men were not the only ones who were supporters of Zendaya. There are a lot of black women, especially younger black women who also supported Zendaya and where she got to where she is now is because of her own hard work. And another thing that makes those comments so messed up is that like a lot of people in the black community, they have this idea that because they've come in contact with a lot of racist white people, that all white people should be labeled racist. And I know there's a lot of people because of their trauma who feel that way. But newsflash, not every single white person on the face of this planet is racist. And it is unfair to the white people who are not racist to project that negativity and those lies onto them. That's all I'm going to say about that. But as for this relationship, like I said, the both of them can be with who they want to be with. And I don't see anything wrong with it as long as they're, like I said, their relationship is actually based off of their love for each other and that they're treating each other right. That's really all that should matter. Like, I really don't understand why some people are so shocked, like I said before, because they had been in sort of like this flirtationship for some time now. Or maybe it was just me that saw that. Maybe I was just seeing things. But to me, it seemed like they were going to settle down at some point together anyways. Like whenever I first saw this, I was like, oh, finally, you know, 
And one more thing about these kind of situations that rub me the wrong way before I get off the soapbox. I can't stand it when people say stuff like, oh, but aren't they too young to be settling down and getting married? But these be the same people that if they were having sex and babies like there was no tomorrow, they wouldn't be saying that mess. But anyways, we really need to reevaluate our thought processes so that when stuff like this comes out, toxic things don't come out of our mouth about people who owe us nothing and have done nothing to us personally. But anyways, y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comments below.